Hey guys, it's Andrew from the blog at Pine and Prospect Home, and I have a really fun project to share with you. It's right behind me. Um, I decided to go ahead and try to hang my old window between the shelves in my dining room. I don't know if you remember this window. I grabbed it on Facebook Marketplace for like 20 or 25 bucks, and it was in my living room. But I've since changed some things around and I put some art where this window was but I wanted to use the window somewhere because it's just so cool and I love the patina it has. I love the old wood and how it ties into my table. So I decided to try to turn it into a mirror. Now it's missing the bottom portion of glass and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to replace that or just leave it empty for now. Um, so I wanna show you the process of how we created this like antique mirror effect, and um, I'm just in love with the way it looks. So let me show you that footage now. <laughs> we are so curly today. Um, I have a fun project that I wanna share with you guys. I'm being kind of quiet because my little one is napping right here, like right here. Um, so I'm gonna have to bump the volume up when I edit this video, but I think I'm going to put my old window between the shelves in my dining room. Doesn't it look pretty here? Let me flip the camera around. Okay, I'm cleaning my chandelier, so ignore that, but I think that this window looks so pretty here. I styled my shelves. I love the way they look with little bits of copper on them. Um, so this window is missing a bottom pane, but it does have the three top panes. And I just think it looks really pretty in here and it kind of ties into the table and i found some fun chairs that i want to share with you guys too so my idea was what if i turned this into a mirror so let me show you what i got i grabbed this stuff i just ordered it on amazon it had really good reviews so i'm gonna try spray painting the back of these panes to try to create a mirror and if I like it we might do it on bottom too if I hate it I'll just scrape it off so we'll see <laughs> all right Mike is gonna take it downstairs and try to find a spot to spray it let me go read the directions and see what it says here got some meatloaf ready to go <laughs> okay I think in all the reviews, the directions just said to spray several coats. So let's see here. You may need to apply five coats. You can see I've been painting five coats. Holy cow. So we'll see how it goes. But what I'm going to have him do is spray. I love this wood. So I think I'm going to have him spray the back of it because I don't so much care for the back. So we're just giving it a good cleaning with... Um, a Norwex cloth. Try to get off any grime or dust. It's pretty dirty, so start with that. All right guys, so the window is up, it's behind me, I'm gonna show it to you here in just a moment, but the recommendation was to spray it, I think, with at least five coats. We only ended up doing two coats, and we stopped because I wanna show you how amazing the, surf the, the mirror looks, um, the reflective surface looks. It turned out looking like this antique mirror, and it's just so cool. So let me show it to you now.
Isn't that mirror absolutely beautiful? I love the way it looks in here. Again, I'm still undecided about whether or not we want to turn the entire thing into a mirror. We could get some glass cut and put in the bottom portion of the window and spray that as well but we're really just not sure. We keep going back and forth. Um, I feel like it makes sense for the whole window to be a mirror, so I'll keep you guys posted on that, but for now, I think this is such a unique idea. If you are looking for a mirror that's um, not so new, that has a little bit of character, look for an old window and spray paint it with this awesome spray. I will link it for you below. This is the simplest project. It adds so much character. Um, to the space in here. I just love the way it looks. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you think about it. Later this week, I plan on sharing a little update with you of our dining space, um, some different chairs that I'm trying right now, kind of how I have it styled at the moment, and what I'm thinking about it, what my thoughts are. So I wanted this mirror project to have its own separate video. I wanted to really highlight how simple of a project this, this was, and I hope this inspired you guys. I'm gonna link all of these materials below for you so you can do this easily yourself. Start looking for old windows on Facebook Marketplace and think about how you can turn them into mirrors. Um, obviously, it would be way more reflective had we done more coats, but we stopped after two because we just loved this antique mirror sort of feel. So let me know if you guys think we should continue on with the bottom of the window, but for now, I'm really loving the way it looks. If you are new to my channel, I would love you to hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you guys next time.